So I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter Rise lately because Monster Hunter on the Switch is just so good, man. And it's actually got me thinking. There are a lot of elements of this game that can actually translate over to fighting games. So it's time to ask a simple question. Can Monster Hunter make you better at fighting games? Before we get into it, if you enjoy regular FGC content, make sure you like and subscribe for some more fighting game goodness. It really helps the channel grow and I just really appreciate it. Now let's talk some Monster Hunter. So Monster Hunter Rise is the first Monster Hunter game that I've really sunk a bit of time into and I think a lot of that comes from it being on the Switch. It's just so good to have it on the go. And there are a lot of elements of this game that I think just translate very, very well to fighting games. Not just in how you play the game, but how you think about the game. So here are a bunch of reasons why I think Monster Hunter can make you better at fighting games. First up, and I think the most obvious thing is talking about all the different weapons. So in Monster Hunter, there are a multitude of different weapons. I haven't counted them. There's like, what, 15, 16? There's a lot of weapons. And each weapon basically gives the character different attack speeds, different attacks, completely different ways to play the game. It's like picking a character in a fighting game. You're like, okay, what, what am I going to play? Who am I going to play? What am I going to do? Do I want to play like a keep away character and use the bow and just put the pop do I use the smaller, faster dual blades and like slice and dice through motherfuckers? Do I use the long sword where I have like big arcing swings and range for days? Like that alone is such a parallel to fighting games. And some weapons have their own resource management. For example, when you play dual blades, you have like a demon mode. So when you activate it, it like constantly drains your stamina, but you get access to a different type of attack animation. And if you fill the, the demon bar, you get arch demon mode. I'm still learning what that is. Or if you pick the long sword, you've got this like sword meter that like charges up when you do attacks. And using that meter gives you access to a special type of combo attack. And then if you switch to the bow, you've got like different ammo types that you can do and cycle through. Then if you've got the, the switch blade, I tried that for a little bit, not very good at it. But you basically switch between a giant axe and like a sword and shield. So there's such a variety of ways to play the game. So many that I haven't explored. If you couldn't tell, Long sword, dual blade, and, and bow, that's that's all I've done. But I tell you what, loving dual blades. I just run in and I slice some motherfuckers. Oh, it's a good time. <laughs> it's a good time. So like I said, picking a weapon is like picking a character. It's like finding one that suits your playstyle, because that's when the real fun begins. Speaking of learning the game, something that Monster Hunter has is lots and lots and, and lots of fucking tutorials. Jesus, you just get like ambushed by walls of text. You don't know what that is? Boom! It's like, oh, fuck. But the game has so much to learn and once again it reminds me of fighting games. The problem is sometimes fighting games don't have the best tutorial so at least Monster Hunter has walls of text. Think of it like fighting game wikis and, and YouTube streams. Some of it you learn by reading, some you learn by practicing and some you learn by just diving the fuck in. And then when you dive in and you start fighting the monsters you're like oh I've got to learn the matchups. For example you got that Kulu Pulu thing. I don't, know, I don't know what his name is, but you're like, oh, okay, so sometimes this thing digs in, picks up a boulder, and I've got to be careful of that boulder. And sometimes he jumps, and sometimes he pecks. And it's all about learning the timing of his attacks, learning the tells, learning how many weapon swings you can get in before it gets too dangerous. Because if you overcommit, you get up, up, as I have learned many, many a time. In fact, I'm still learning. Damn. And in a game like Monster Hunter, learning the matchups and learning the attack patterns, it's vital. It's essential. And you know what? At first you dive in, you're like, what does this monster do? And it fucks you up. Maybe you weren't used to its big bad attack. Maybe you overcommitted. You were like, yeah, I can just get a few more hits in before he just smacks me with his tail. And it's one of those things that really only comes with experience. And it's like fighting games. You go online and you just fight characters. If you keep getting wrecked by Kami, because we all do, the only way to get better at fighting Kami it's to fight Kami. And I mean, look, training mode does have its place in, in these kind of situations, but Monsana really kind of gets you used to the idea of this character does this. It really nails it in. And I know when I play online, I get a bit silly. I get a bit carried away. So, you know, Monster Hunter doesn't let you do that. Yo, what Monster Hunter has in common? Cool fucking levels. There are some cool ass environments in Monster Hunter, and we all know there's some dope ass levels in fighting games. I'm sure there are more examples, but that's pretty much all I could come up with with my Barath sized brain. Is, is it Barath? Barath? You know that big T-Rex mud monster? That thing? But anyway, do you think Monster Hunter Rise can make you better at fighting games? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and YouTube. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We play some fighting games. I mentioned it on my Twitter late last week, but we're pretty much going to be playing a bunch of Guilty Gear. Strive has a beta in two weeks. We're going to play the fuck out of that. And then we're going to just play more Guilty Gear until Strive comes out. And then we're going to play Strive. It's Guilty Gear Strive again. But I hope to see you there, and I will catch you for the next video.